Hi everybody, welcome to a new episode of your Frederish cast. My name's Gary and I'm your host for today. How are you doing today? I'm glad to have you here, just as usual. So go grab your cup of coffee. Day's a little cooler than, than the, the previous ones. Um, so it's, it's equivalent to say it is a cool day, <laughs> literally. <laughs> it's not cold, it's not hot, it's just... Um, some people would say perfect temperature. I don't know if I agree too much. I want. I am more into the the hot days, so I wasn't complaining much before. I hope. <laughs> Anyways, go grab a cup of coffee, beer, water, soda, whatever it takes for you to relax, and let's jump into this journey together to talk about something really important, um, something that is um, natural meaning we all have it inside us um, and it is part of our nature as, a, as creatures okay uh, and everything related to it, 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 it is everything related to it is somehow good okay even its limitations okay uh, I'm, I'm gonna explain everything way better but of course I'm talking about as you know as you already know I'm talking about your memory my memory okay the memorization process uh, not only not only when it comes to learning languages because I believe I tackle pretty well that on the episode about learning English on your own or some similar right here on this podcast go check it out um, but about memorizing things in general okay how to have how to have better memory you know um, for all reasons for all um, situations you know scenarios like you know memorizing faces memorizing sounds uh, memorizing words of course things that been said um, yeah and that's it pretty much we're going what we're going to be talking about on this episode so let's go to it um, I had the help from chat GPT for for five tips okay I asked for five tips um, and surprisingly enough I wrote I ended up wrote, uh, writing um, how many more uh, four um, four tips of my own like you know mine not the uh, chat GPT's okay um, and, and surprisingly enough I came to realize by writing the script for this for this episode that I could use a very good metaphor to explain the difference between chat GPT's tips that I've just had and my my own tips um, the, the metaphor is the following think of your the memorization process as a car and a pilot okay um, if we have a very good pilot but the car is not you know good enough for any reason or any reasons um, it's not gonna work okay and vice versa if we have a very good car you know in whatever meaning possible uh, in whatever possible sense of good car you know conditions you know uh, how how potent it is in terms of you know uh, how, how fast can it can it go? Um, anyways, um, and the pilot is not very good. It's not gonna work either. Okay, so yeah, so that's the very good metaphor. So Jet Chat GPT's tips were for the car, quote unquote, and mine were are. Uh, more for the pilot okay so let's start with the car aka your brain okay so how to keep it I mean I say your brain but there's a very interesting quote uh, from a doctor I, 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 I like and admire um, called uh, you're as old as the the oldest the eldest of your organs okay so for some people have good brain you know like in terms of their brain uh, uh, biologically speaking or is okay uh, but their liver isn't you know because they drank a lot whatever you know um, or in some cases the the other way around okay very good liver but the brain is is you know terminating for some reason so yeah um, I I really think that 
when we talk about when I talk about the brain here in my metaphor the car I'm talking about the whole body okay so that's pretty much what ChatGPT has delivered me uh, when I ask for five tips okay so let's go to it so how to have a good car in the metaphor good body and consequently good brain which is the vehicle for good memory right so that's it let's read tip number one uh, stay organized okay uh, it, it reads Organize information in a way that makes sense to you. Use tools like notebooks, planners, or digital apps to keep track of important details, dates, and tasks. Create structured environment. Create a structured environment. A tidy physical space can contribute to a clear mental space. Well, I have to confess I'm kind of guilty when it comes to organization. I'm not the, um, the best at it. But I am functional in my organization, okay? I like keep things, keeping things organized because there are there, otherwise when we end up getting lost. No matter how healthy we are, our brain, our body is, constantly our brain is, if, you know, we're not organized, if we don't keep information at good sight, basically, we're gonna end up forgetting things, you know? And also, no matter how talented you are, you know, um, if there is such thing, of course, we are going to end up forgetting things, okay? So that's tip number one. Let's check what ChatGPT has delivered for tip number two. Practice active learning. Engage actively with the material you're trying to remember. Instead of just passively reading or listening, ask questions, discuss the topic with others, or teach it to someone else. Use mnemonic devices, uh, acronyms, or visualization techniques to take to make information more memorable. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna talk more about it uh, on one of my tips. Okay. That is about the mnemonic, the mnemonic um, techniques, uh, but basically it invites us to use what we learn. Okay, uh, no matter what kind of learner you are, again, I'm going to talk about it further on, but it will help. It will enhance your memory. You know, your memorization process. I think that more explanation isn't isn't necessary about it. Okay, so. Not only learn, but try to use how to try to practice immediately. Try to try to engage to things to the things you have just learned and, pra and been practicing. Okay. All right. Tip number three: get adequate sleep. Yeah, that's it. You didn't misread it. Uh, you didn't misread it. Sorry. Um, you have to have good have a good night of sleep. Otherwise, the car. In this metaphor won't work so let's read it ensure you are getting enough quality sleep each night sleep is crucial for memory consolidation aim for seven to nine hours of sleep per night establish a regular sleep routine by going to bed and waking up at the same time every day even on weekends well this is kind of a um kind of a hard to swallow <laughs> Um, as I love the expression, a tough pill to swallow. <laughs> this is really a tough pill, pill to swallow because people in their 40s or even under their 50s don't like, don't have the habit, myself included probably, of um, going to bed and waking up religiously, religiously at the same time. Mean, uh, having a specific time to go to bed and having a, a specific time to get up, okay? Um, I try to have a good, uh, a specific time to get up every day, but I don't, I don't like going to bed at the same time. I never go to bed at the same time every day, you know? I don't like having a routine to go to bed. Um, and this is probably, this is probably something negative for memory, okay? Um, I will share a personal experience. I was, I probably mentioned that before in one of the episodes I recorded here. Um, but I was, I can't, I spent almost three years, three years of my life 
getting up like ultra early, like uh, 6 a.m., 5 a.m., you know. Um, but then I started having more classes at night, okay? Uh, and everything was okay until I realized that due to the fact I was getting up early, it was interfering the quality of my of my classes at night, okay? I was kind of a started saying nonsense things or forgetting things at the middle of an explanation or an exercise. And then, and then I, I just immediate, immediately figure out like, hey, I gotta push it up, push it forward a little and, and stay in bed for a few more hours. But honestly, I don't even think it is due to the fact or at least not 100% um, to the, due to the fact that I was getting up early, but due to the fact that I wasn't sleeping enough. Because as I said before, I don't like there's a big contradiction in my life. I like getting up early and I love going to bed late. So big problem spotted, isn't it? So yeah, I I wasn't asleep more than six hours, you know, for, for this for uh, period, you know, for the, these two, three years I was getting up early. I was sleeping an average of six and a half hours. Top, being very optimistic. I didn't count, but yeah, that's what I think. Um, and then I, I just, of course, the minute, the moment I started staying for one more hour, one and a half, two more hours, you know, I ended up sleeping more. So today, I think I, I sleep an average of seven hours per night, which is much more, seven of seven and a half hours per night, which is way more, right? Maybe not enough for those who say, including ChatGPT here, saying eight to nine hours, but that's it. I mean, I feel, I feel okay. You know, I'm not complaining about anything anymore. So. Yeah, I believe that it's been working for me. But that's it, guys. Make sure your sleeping routine is okay. There is, if you're a perfectionist about it, which is not my case, I'm not my case, so I'm not the best person to talk about it. But if you are, you are like there is the whole ritual of, uh, you know, turning the lights. You know, my good friend Edson Cortiano talks about the, the digital sunset very well, you know, and goes to bed as soon as the sun goes down you know there's all the, there's that all the those the rituals for people who are into it um i don't really think it's my my case but or even yours but if it is there there's a good territory to to walk on uh, related to this topic okay so uh ex tip number four from chat dpt and i love this one exercise regularly Physical activity has been linked to improve cognitive, and func cognitive function and memory. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week. Exercise increases blow, uh, blood flow to the entire body, including the brain, which can enhance memory and cognitive, cognitive performance. That's it, guys. Okay? Um, exercising is something that everyone should do, okay? I'm not saying everyone should go to gym, pump iron, you know, become Arnold Schwarzenegger. Of course not. I, I, I myself don't do that. Why would I say that? And even if I did, I, I would have to be uh, minim, minimally smart enough to understand that not everyone can or wants to do that, okay? So, um, but moving, okay? Uh, in order to challenge your body every day, okay? Uh, walking is wonderful, okay? I see lots of people, especially people at their 50s or 60s or 70s, walking every day. But I would tell them if, it, if they ask my opinion um, to do more, to try to run, okay? Walk, say you walk for one hour every day, take 10 minutes of that period of walking period and run, okay? Moderately, of course, not saying you should run, uh, you should try to beat, um, I forgot the guy, the guy's name, but anyways, the the the, the big, the top-notch guy that uh, running, uh, Usain Bolt, I guess. Anyways, I'm not saying you try, you should try to to beat him at running, but <laughs> run moderately so you can feel, you know, your body challenge. All right, that's basically what I have to say. No matter what you're into, as a, in exercising, as a sport, at sports, but do something and do something that challenges at least for 10 or five minutes every day, um, your body, okay? You get, that gets you really sweating and really feeling like, hey, what am I doing with my life? You know, those, 
one to two minutes, you think like, hey, what am I doing with my life? Mean you are in the correct way as far as exercising is concerned. And this is so general, guys. I don't, I don't accept um, disagreement here, okay? I'm not saying specifically do this or that. I'm saying that challenge your body and move your body. That's it. Let's go to tip, uh, ChatGPT's tip number five and last one. Maintain a healthy lifestyle. Eat a balanced diet rich in any oxidants, omega-3 fatty acids and other nutrients that support brain health. Foods like fatty fish, fruits, vegetables and whole grains can pos positively impact cognitive function. Manage stress, stress through techniques such as meditation, deep breathing or yoga. Uh, chronic stress can have a detrimental effects on memory. Well, this is the, the closing of the part about the car in the metaphor. There's no need to say any, any, to speak any longer about it. Um, so let's jump into the last part of the, this episode, which are my own tips. Let's go. Okay, so we have already talked about the car in the metaphor I propose. Let's talk about the pilot, okay, and close it off for today. Um, the first thing I say when you want to memorize things is make, work on the connections. Wow, what kind of connections are you talking about, Gary? You're talking about making, becoming friends with, uh, with yeah, influential people, you know, rich people. No, no, no. That's not the type of connection I'm talking about. I'm talking about connections in your brain. Okay, I've already used this. I've already said it before here, putting it as an example here. But like when you're walking on the streets, you come across thousands of people, at least if you live in a big city every day. And of course, for a healthy brain mechanism, you don't get to memorize all the faces of people you, you come across, unless the ones that for some reason call your attention, catch your attention. And what can that be? You can tell me, okay? Either because it's someone good looking, either because it's someone who resembles a friend of yours, but this is the type of connection I'm talking about, okay? So when you wanna learn things, a new word in English, for example, or new information, make sure you make connections, okay? Make sure you connect these informations uh, with things, okay? That's the 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 the, the so-called mnemonic uh, method. Okay, you should research more about it. it. It's very important. If you're suffering from from memory loss or things like that, okay, uh, of course, provided the car is working properly, and of course, in some situations, you should go see a doctor. You know, <laughs> everyone should. I go sooner than later. Go see a doctor to see if everything's all right with my brain, and I'm not even having any symptoms or anything that concerns me okay but yeah that's it um so making connections is the three of the one member of the three the triad <laughs> uh of the learning process okay the first one is trauma which is not good we memorize things by trauma that's in that's indisputable second is repetition i will talk more about it and the third one and also uh, equally uh, important, uh, and I would say that the best one from the three I mentioned um, is connecting things, making connections. This is basically how we learn. There's no other uh, way we learn unless trauma and repetition. Trauma, we want to keep it away, but repetition, yeah, is good. I'm going to be there in a few minutes. Uh, second tip, daily practice. Guys, it is so important, no matter what you want to get good at, you want to, you know, be proficient at, do that every day, every day. Oh, but Sundays and holidays, every single day. Our brain doesn't know holidays, guys, okay? Let's just be real. If you, if you take dates, days off for your brain, there's no days off, you know? You don't spend the whole Sunday sleeping or unconscious, you know? The brain doesn't turn off, okay? So that's it, that's a normal day. So if you're doing something, do that every day. I'm not saying you should be doing uh, hard work for things every single day, of course not. You can moderate at the weekends, you know, bring it in a, in a lighter way, but keep that, you know, those pieces of information around you every single day, 
okay there's it's worth a whole episode but that's just the the summary of it for now third um I've, as already uh, mentioned repetition okay uh everything we repeat or is repeated around us you know in terms of words or, or information our brain cap captures okay inevitably think of the names of diseases for example you know um some of them have pretty weird names you know if you're in brazil for example chikungunya i mean how in christ's name would you ever remember a word chikungunya if you had heard it only once or twice or a couple of times never we would never no matter what unless you know a language that contains the, the origin to this word <laughs> i don't even want to mention anyone but um but that's it okay that's the, the 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 basics of it okay so repeat you don't have to repeat it to keep repeating things forever but as long as you're learning you should be repeating every day okay and keep it on your radar okay getting you know getting it having it transferred to the connections area mentioned before but that's it and last but not least find what what kind of learner what type of learner you are there are basically three types three main types of learners okay uh, visual learners uh, auditory learners and kinesthetic learners okay visual the name says it all the ones who learn better or more efficiently by seeing things looking at things be that reading text be that watching things um, auditory people my i i believe i'm i'm included in this group um who learn better more more eff uh, effectively by listening to things by hearing things okay and kinesthetic learners are those who learn uh through doing things okay who you know been should be actively doing and repeating and doing the things they they've just uh, learned uh, in order to effectively learn it okay uh, of course we all learn in at least a little bit of each one of these and more these three uh, types and more types of course uh, but we all except for a few exceptions of course have an inclination towards one of them so it's paramount it's very important in and imperative that you learn which one of them you are okay Google it, it's all around, okay? Um, do that test, make sure you know what kind of learner you are, because by doing this, you will be able to better uh, plan your strategy, plan your learning and memorization strategy, all right? The moment you realize, you, the moment you learn what kind of learner you are, um, things get much easier, you will have uh, uh, means to improve you know to set up a plan about learning something or memorizing something okay that's it for this episode thank you so very much for your lovely company i see you in the next one bye bye